All right, so in this question, we have two linear equations, and we want to see which of the following graphs represent these two functions. Now, the key points in this problem is to recognize what the slope and the y-intercept is, and it'll make it a lot easier to recognize the graphs. So let's take a look at our first function right over here, and we can divide everything by 4, and it'll make it a lot more simple. So if we do so, we are left with x plus y equals 1. All right, now we'll continue this over here, and we'll isolate the y to put it into point-intercept form. So we have y equals, we'll subtract the x on both sides, and we are left with negative x plus 1. And now that it's in point-intercept form, we know that the slope m is negative 1, and that the y-intercept is a positive 1. All right, so now let's do the same for our second equation. Let's rewrite it over here. And we want to isolate the y again. So we'll add 3x to both sides, and we are left with negative 5y equals 3x minus 7. Now we'll divide negative 5 on both sides, and we have y equals negative 3 divided by 5x minus, or not minus, plus, because we are dividing by a negative, and a negative and a negative create a positive, so we have 7 divided by 5. All right, so our slope here is negative 3 fifths, and our y-intercept will be 7 over 5. And if we take a look at our graphs, we can automatically eliminate answer A because it has an increasing slope and a decreasing slope, and we are looking for two decreasing slopes. All right, so now if we take a look at our graphs and we're looking for the y-intercepts, our first y-intercept we're looking for is at positive 1, and our second one is at 7 fifths. All right, so if we're looking for a intercept at 1, at positive 1, the graph D is the only graph that has an inner slope, has an um, interception point at positive 1, and right over here at 7 fifths. So D will be the only correct answer because all of the other graphs do not have an intercept point at positive 1. So D will be our final answer.